Jerusalem activists have been sounding the alarm bell for months. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's government has been buying its way into the old city and the Arab neighborhoods, paying for apartment renovations, road maintenance, tours of the holy sites, even handing out cash gifts on Ramadan. And in return, some say he's trying to exert influence and Islamicize the city with a grander plan of rebuilding the Ottoman Empire from Jerusalem outward. He's doing it in a very smart way. One way is in culture, sponsoring a lot of activity, cultural activities, festivals, and other things. And another way, in the, in the more, I would say, uh, um, physical way, investing in infrastructure and, uh, and uh, helping people, Arab, uh, Arab people in Jerusalem, uh, he will get kicked back from it by having the Turkish flag, having his name, and uh, just to take the, you know, the, the, like a custodian on the Arab people in Jerusalem. Recent media reports claim the Israeli security services were warned about the issue not only by local activists, but by leadership in other Arab nations, including Saudi Arabia and neighboring Jordan, who feel Erdogan's mission could have a destabilizing effect on the delicate balance over control of Jerusalem's holy sites and potentially the greater region at large. Israel is caught in the middle of a struggle in the Muslim world over who will control East Jerusalem and the holy sites in Jerusalem, a struggle between the radical group headed by Erdogan and the Saudi Jordan group who currently have the authority under the King of Jordan. We know how to handle this struggle. We will strengthen the less radical Arab group by way of our sovereignty. The Turkish consulate in Jerusalem did not respond to numerous requests for comment for this story. Muslims we spoke with off camera in the old city told us they're unaware of any Turkish initiatives in the area. But if Erdogan does indeed envision rebuilding the Ottoman Empire, a local historian says he can heed the wisdom of the man whose namesake street leads to Damascus Gate and into the Muslim quarter, Sultan Suleiman, who ruled the Ottoman Empire for longer than anyone else. Let me remind him that Sultan Suleiman built this wall to glorify Jerusalem, and Erdogan wants to destroy the city. He was the first leader since the destruction of the temple to allow Jews to pray at the Western Wall. That contradicts Erdogan's policy. Erdogan should take a lesson from the Sultan if he wants to bring back the Turkish Empire. First, he should learn that the Jews are the best friends of the Turks. If he learns that, the situation could be better. For I-24 News, Mike Wagenheim, Jerusalem.